impetuous, my defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. I, I feel I'm the best ever. I broke everybody. Why you tell me record I haven't broke? Colossal Boxing Talk. Yo, hey, YouTube, this is the homie Smooth Cat with Colossal Boxing Talk reporting to, reporting uh, about a fight last night that um, <clears throat> it didn't get too much too much buzz because it's, um, it was two guys. It was Shane Mosley versus Mark Christopher Atkins. In the fight, Mosley came out early, aggressive, and I, he landed um, a hard right shot to um, to Mark Christopher Atkins' arm area, and it kind of kind of threw him, threw him off a little bit. I don't think he was hurt necessarily. It looked more like like, like a push shot. <clears throat> but anyways, throughout the fight, the whole time, Mark Christopher Atkins was. He, uh, it's like Shane Mosley Jr. only had one game plan. Come out, I'm going to land a hard shot, and the night will be over with. And in the sport of boxing, as you know, you have to be able to um, to make subtle adjustments in the ring. Once Mosley saw that the hard shot that he was uh, att attempting to land wasn't landing, he should have... Uh, it, it was time for him to switch things up and, and go a different route with it. But he never went a different route. He just continued trying to land that one big shot. And Mark, and, and he, he fell right into Mark Christopher Atkins, uh, his trap. Because Mark Christopher Atkins was using the shoulder roll. And he was throwing punches. And he was rolling his punches and countering. And... <clears throat> And and then something else I noticed about this fight. It's, it's not to get get down get down on Shane Mosley Jr. because like you say, he's young and, and, and he still can do great things. Uh, one loss doesn't one loss doesn't um equal you're you're a bum or anything. What this fight shows that Shane Mosley Jr. he has some he has some work to do. But what I noticed in the corner, Shane was telling him, Okay, box, use your jab. Stop! Stop going for it all. Set it up. And Shane Mosley Jr. never listened. He wasn't listening. He was. He would throw a lazy jab, and Mark Christopher Atkins would pivot away, step back, and as soon as Mosley come right back in trying to throw a right, he would duck it and hit him with a right, and move out of the way. He just. Sorry about the camera though, but he just um. He, he thoroughly he outboxed him to me. He he did, and I, I'm still trying to see. I understand Shane Mosley Jr. was the name fighter, but there is no way in hell anyone can show me that Shane Mosley Jr. won three of those rounds. It didn't happen. He, he did not win three rounds. I don't even think he won one round. If if it was around, you could have gave it to him. I guess you could have gave him round one, but outside of that, he he didn't win another round. Mark Christopher Atkins out was outboxing him, and it, it it's it's kind of funny. And I don't mean this in a disrespectful way when I say this. Okay, how Shane Mosley, how how he's looked his last few fights, uh, especially the Mundine fight and the Pacquiao fights and all and and these type fights, he. He he looked he looked as if at times he was <clears throat> like he like he was, it, it's it's like he only thing he was going for was to land one big hard shot and to get a win. And it, it his son his son looked like the the out of prime version of him to me just uh, faster. He like yeah. I say he he was just fat he was just a faster out of he was just a faster version. And I mean, like I say, it's a lot of it's a lot of subtle adjustments he can make. He needs to first he, he needs to use head movement. Second, you use that length you have. Shoot the jab to the body, shoot the jab upstairs, then come back with the right hand. But like I say, I mean it's early on in his career and 
And I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping this turns to be a blessing in disguise for uh, Shane Mosley Jr. Because the, I mean it, it's kind of it's kind of rough losing losing the fight where all all the cards were stacked in your favor. So, but anyways, guys, like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go too long into this. This is gonna be the end of the video. <clears throat> Hopefully, you guys hit that like button for me. Leave your comments in the comment section. I definitely will get back to you. And also, um, go over to the main page. Hit that subscribe button for us. Then go go over to Facebook if you're on Facebook. Go uh, like our like our fan page at Colossal C Colossal Boxing Talk. Then you can go to Twitter and follow us at Colossal CBT. And last but not least, you can go to Instagram and follow us at Colossal Boxing Talk. This is Smooth Cat, and I'm out.